Good morning, everybody. Let's talk about strategy pattern. So you can think of strategy pattern as a simple way of choosing the path. There is something happening and we need to choose the appropriate strategy based on some field. This is a very simple pattern. Um, and the way we'll, the, the example that we'll use is multi-factor authentication. So let's create our multi-factor auth controller. And we are not particularly interested in that controller. Uh, here, we'll just create an invocable controller. And in our services, we don't have services in this project. So let me just create a quick directory, create services. And inside of our services, we'll also create the multi-factor auth. OK, uh, inside of here, we'll create the multi-factor auth service. So inside of here, what we'll do is we'll create the constructor. And this constructor will simply accept the multi-factor auth service and instantiate. And for some reason, oh, it should be in app directory. So yeah, now we have our namespace and everything is nice. So here we'll just uh, return response OK, which is a macro that I have. And we'll also do this service send notification. All right, so let's implement that method. And we'll pass the user. So let's accept the request and let's Pass the user here. Here, let's accept that user. And what we need to do is basically the user has uh, MFA method. This is a property that they have on the model. And they can have, you know, either SMS or email or app. And based on that, we need to send a different kind of notification. There is a lot of ways that we could accomplish this, but uh, we'll use it as a way to showcase the strategy pattern. So first of all, what is the strategy pattern? Like really? Well, it's just a fancy if else statement in a sense that implements an interface. So let me show you this by, by finalizing this example. Let's create those three strategies. So let's create SMS, MFA, SMS strategy, and there is a typo here, obviously. Let's create MFA app strategy, and let's create MFA email strategy. Now we'll also need to create an interface. So let's create an MFA strategy interface. And this interface will find a method. This should be a public function called send that will accept a user. And uh, it doesn't need to return anything. It can be a void. Now, all of these strategies should implement this interface. So let's do just that. Uh, I'm sorry. MFA strategy interface. We'll get an error that the class doesn't implement the contract. So let us implement the contract. And I will just copy this line and paste it in all of the all three of these files. Now in our service, what we can do is we can simply do return match on the user. MFA preference. Let's we'll just return just the default throw exception. Uh, throw new exception and handle strategy. And let me quickly create an enum for this uh, MFA preference. Let's just call it MFA preference type uh, enum. Uh, so let's do case SMS equals SMS. 
and we'll do the same for email and the app. And you know we can implement our user to to cast our MFA preference to to this enum. So now we can just operate on it as if it was an enum. So yeah, now there is a couple of ways that we could expand this, but uh, this one should provide us the the big the best how to complete. Uh, so let's do app strategy to email strategy to strategy. This would be our class, and now we could do simply return class and user. And this is a void, so we can drop that. So that's basically the pattern. Uh, this is just a way of extracting uh, more complex logic to separate classes and then having a simple place where that dispositions the, the proper class for you. What's nice about it is that this could potentially be completely hidden in an enum uh, in our case. So what we could do is we could go to our MFA preference enum. And here we could do a public function. This is kind of dirty, but if you like it, I mean, maybe not dirty, but not conventional, but sometimes it makes sense. So maybe you can do something like, you know, send here you could simply do all of this logic and then just call user MFA preference. Um, so yeah, like you can do whatever you want here. This is the basic pattern. In case you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And if you like the video, please remember to give it a like and see you in the next one. Bye.